Hello, hello, people of the internet. It's your boy, Skinny Penis. I'm back with another basic brang, just playing Wooster, going through my thoughts. And it's uh, not a normal Wooster. It do be a utility Wooster with AA skill and uh, ledge mod, actually. So, yeah, we will go over the spec after the first game. And thankfully, that is the problem we would have had here. Thankfully, we have a carrier in the game, so I can activate my T virus and press O a lot, and hopefully, we shoot down some planes. Um, as you can see, I mean, the consumer is there, uh, nothing wonky there, and also the range is the same. My ledge mod goes into 6 slot anyway, so you don't get range mod or reload mod. But yeah, so like it's a normal booster, you're just taking uh, essentially captain skills. To reduce your consumable cooldown and ledge mod also reduces your consumable cooldown and gives you another consumable in general so you can save three points on uh superintendent or i mean you could also double down on it and get superintendent anyways and get five heals five radars six defas everything like essentially being on a utility platform for 20 minutes straight nothing else would happen so what do we have here do we having decent matchmaking? Only three battleships, that's pretty good. Uh, Malta, um, don't really care that much. I mean, if he has hands, it doesn't really matter that much what kind of A spec I'm running, or what kind of boat I am. The only thing that is good for me is that my A range is increased. Booster gets 6-9, so the rockets and the bombs have a harder time fucking with me. I mean, torpedo squadrons are designed in a way that if he pops heal and if he knows what he's doing, uh, he's always going to get through my def A and drop me anyways. There's nothing really you can do. Most Torp squadrons are designed uh, to not be really affected by AA. Sadly, I mean, nothing I can do. Uh, sadly, though, also, we have the problem that we get overmatched by Wooster essentially by everything 380 and above, apart from deck. But deck armor is always like a bit wonky because people hit your side anyways. And deck generally tends to fuse the shells on the superstructure anyways already, so it doesn't really matter to get deck armor, but well we will see what happens here. Okay. I'm already lit. Oh, careful now. No funny maneuvers. Ooh, okay. We'll dive the island, but at least I got to spot the Brisbane. He's not going for Cap Radar or Cap Dika, which is weird for me, to be fair. No way he plays the flank first. But hey, his choice, um, at least my, my DDs can cap now. I am lit from the front, somewhere here. Something you have to care about a bit. Um, the Devoin is randomly crossing. The problem would be that the Montagna could theoretically run it into my asshole. It doesn't seem like there is a battleship uh, or heavy cruiser anywhere near the middle. There you go, so the AA skill was active for a few seconds because he's striking in that area. DPM is still great, by the way. I mean, Wooster is known to have great DPM, obviously. Uh, since it's a uh, good base DPM, buffing it through the captain skills and uh, reload mod is generally advised because percentage base buffed on a good base value is obviously going to increase it more. Um, kind of a wee bit uh, exponential. So I'm not gonna tell you to definitely run the reload. Ah, run the utility spec. But it is kind of a fun alternative try something else and from time to time it's actually pretty fun. So this Des Moines didn't really know what to do so he's uh, kind of minus 40k HP there nearly and fucking off so that's good and um, I mean I'm still spotted from the front which is weird. I'm gonna pop Hydro now. The guy is suffering quite a bit on the border. Um, if he goes dark I'll just reader him now. It'll be fine. Udaloy is there. Theoretically, I could run it out front and kill the Woodaloy, but or fuck him up. But I'm going to choose to play a bit more passive for now until the Monty is dead. Uh, that's what I thought. He could fucking push the 
ED is pretty fucking deep in that cap. Weird. Moin is coming back in. Mm, what I could try now is get into the smoke of the Yamagiri and raider the cap from farther forward. I mean, I need to go away from the rock. Get away from the rock anyways. Montagna is still not dead. But, um, I'll pop the raider now. Oh, I was wondering where exactly he is, but I didn't know he's actually just running it straight up suicidal into my mouth. But we just take that kill and then go dark in the smoke after, hopefully. Um, well, that wall of skill is probably going to kill me, actually. It's going to be a hard turn in for me. Take. At least I have the smoke to dodge. Do I get the turn? Nope, I don't. Oh, I actually do. Nice, nice. To focus a bit on the... Dodging there. Uh, I thought he would torp me on the rock, so that's why I moved away, but then... He actually decided to fully torp the smoke, which is uh, a bit of a problem when you have 18 torps coming for that smoke. That's a lot of fucking peeds. But hey, we managed to actually dodge it, which is really good. Uh, the Brisbane is too far away to actually deal significant damage to me. Uh, the Moin doesn't have the HP to really peek me anymore. So lucky there that the Yamagiri just decided to randomly int on me. The Des Moines might actually come around and peek me here, so I'm gonna be a bit careful. I am flat and he can peek that pretty fast with ledge mod. But it was a ranged Des Moines, right? Because he shot me from pretty far away. He doesn't have ledge mod. There you go, he's actually peeking it with 11k. Well, I hope the first salvo doesn't nuke me. Uh, well, it does nuke me. Wooster can be a bit trolley for Des Moines to Citadel. I mean, this is just a suicidal move from him. Basing it on one volley with the, f the first one. If that thing doesn't completely and utterly obliterate me, I'm fine. And as you can see, I am fine. He's just dead. Udalo is fucking off. Haaland and Drake seem to be coming back. I might think about going over to the other side with the Yamato and the Hanover. Hmm. I don't really know why my 2DDs are running into a Brisbane. Uh, okay, here comes the the Wooster AA moment. As you can see, my consumables are immediately off cooldown again with this. And um, yeah, well, I don't think I have full AA anymore, do I? I have 97% still, that's pretty good. I can just uh, probably give AA cover to my um, Brisbane. Gonna deactivate A and activate it again to get the def A of cooldown. As you can see, the ledge mod um, reduces the consumable cooldown base already, so I have uh, less than one minute cooldown on the uh, on the AA. Uh, pretty good, by the way. It's like, like really, really good because um, the carrier doesn't really get time to cycle planes into me without me having def A ready most of the times. Just gonna meet up with my defense. He's probably gonna smoke himself again. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not going to pop def A for the rockets either, because uh, the bombs and the torpedoes are obviously what's the problem. But as you can see, the the AA skill is now active as well, and everything comes off cooldown immediately again. Uh, but yeah, the rockets are not really worth it to use my def A on. They're already nearly dead anyway, so we're just going to... I mean... Surely, maybe I could have protected him against that strike, but more important that the... He's gonna smoke now, probably, so I'll just park next to him. He doesn't have a heal ready. Oh yeah, right there it is actually the heal. I wonder if he shoots Mina or the Drake. Or the, the, the defense. Shoots me. Could have loaded AP here. Should have loaded AP here, but I hope that I can actually go through the... The Michelangelo is coming, so now I have to actually fuck off from here. 
Michelangelo with Hydro and uh, the secondary is a bit too much uh, for my taste. Also, the Hanover could be coming in. Uh, okay, that guy's unspotted now. Um, well, I mean, if the carrier would have come here now and uh, finally sent my, his planes into me, I could have gotten the radar off cooldown instant for the Michelangelo to stop a smoke play. I mean, there could be a potential smoke play. Michelangelo is doing something weird there. He can get citadeled by the defense, that's for sure. As you can see, I can just abuse the defense smoke for myself. It was pretty obvious that he has to smoke himself multiple times. Um, because of the CV. There's a fuck ton of torps going that way, dude. I mean, that's crazy. So, like... A is gonna fall. Most of the enemy team randomly ran back into base into our flank. This is always what I like to say is a bit of a problem with World of Warships. Um, for them it would have been smarter to push through and get map control that way instead of anticipating us going through here and then kiting us again. But since people are generally uh, only able to kite and be as in towards the enemy, uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens. Um, maybe I can abuse that smoke next. There's lots of smokes on this in this game on this flank. I have only one heal left. Not bad. Can't get a fire. Ah, oh, there it is. There you go, he's dead. Probably can get an angle. An over, maybe? Yeah, he's slowing down and stopping. I'm in here. See, the... The DPM is still fine, I mean, sure, as said, like, it's good base DPM, so buffing it further would also make a lot of sense, but, uh, like, you're fine. You can still burn down people, you can still DPM them down, but if you want to have some sort of supportive role as well with lots of utility, this is obviously the go-to. Um, it definitely does have more uh, utility or faster utility cycles than SM. Uh, in the sense, like maybe you can get your uh, maybe you can get your utility faster on SM if you get your F keys, but that also involves you being in the fight. Uh, this one here essentially gets fast utility base or faster utility base, and also if a uh, carrier strikes, you get it even faster. But you don't have to shoot once; you can just be outside the fight and still get your util. Um, also, the utility is a bit more effective. Like Wooster A should be decent stronger than San Martin. Uh, you get Hydro and FA at the same time. Uh, your Raider has way longer duration, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, obviously it's better to have a, what is it, 40... No, 52.8 second radar, because I think the consumable duration is also increased through Ledge Mod. Like, you have a 50 second radar, that's better than having two 28 seconds or some shit on San Martin, and having two F key in between. Um, also, like, I get Hydro and FA, as I said, and my Hydro also gets a slight increase, I think, in duration because of the ledge mod. So, yeah. In general, like, if you want to utility fuck people, you probably go for, uh, for the booster. I'd say it's a better alternative. See, we can maybe get some plane kills in the end here. The Alta suffering inside my AA. Pretty good. I like it a lot. Uh, the planes he recalled ate a smoke cloud. Alta dead. Udoloi coming into my range. I get some more damage and maybe a kill. It's pretty good. We finished it. Thankfully we got a carrier. Sadly the carrier didn't go for me, but then again, uh, 
kind of understandable that maybe the BBs behind me or myself are not the best target. Um, yeah, I mean, even the the two attacks I did receive or three attacks, what it was, uh, already netted me a decent amount of plane kills. Um, not to say that the AA is going to save you against the Super Unicum or Super Uniscum player that really wants you dead. But it's very likely that you deplane him in return. That's true, like the DPS is pretty strong. Um, also, you can see that uh, you get a lot of XP for that. I mean, you don't really need damage to um, to get XP. You can also just shoot down planes, uh, fuck on destroyers. I mean, obviously, I got the Yamagiri and help cap. Uh, Wooster Concealment kind of allows for that. So let's go into the equipment real quick first. It's like the main thing. It's a ledge mod Wooster. I had it laying around. Um, I actually played a lot of Wooster when the ledge mods were still acquirable through missions. So I just played Wooster so much that I finished the mission. It was like 90, 80, 80 90 games at least you had to play to get it. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, you have number of ship consumables plus one. That's essentially a three point commander skill. You trade DPM for that, but you get three commander points. But on top of that, you get the priority A sector. That's not like the craziest thing, but you also get ship consumable preparation and reload time. 20%. That's a lot. That's that's a lot. I think the one pointer on um, on cruiser captains is 7.5%. So this is essentially three times that. So kind of that, that consumable you could see as giving you uh, five captain points again, or like it, it, you trade 12% DPM from reload mod for five captain points. And then you can either double down on getting even better utility, or you could get more DPM through the captain or other skills like, I don't know, maybe outnumbered RPF, whatever the fuck you want to play. IFHE maybe even, probably like an IFHE booster would work best with enhanced countermeasures. So like the ledge mod enhanced countermeasures. The rest is obviously the same. You take Raider mod, I mean, at this stage, since you have such, I mean, actually it doesn't give duration. That was, that was me saying bullshit. It doesn't give you duration. I said I could probably trade this for hydro duration. But then again, I kind of want to have a bit more survivability because I can shit consumables anyways. So yeah, that's the modules. It's essentially just a ledge mod booster, nothing else. And then the captain spec is a bit weird. Yeah, I admit that. Um, so like I said, you can save on superintendent. And because I already have create crazy uh, utility cycles and AA uh, and good AA, um, I drop a top grade and go for the A skill. Um, basically, like, you, yeah, you get the A in depth charge damage, but you play it for the 50% consumable duration, ah, reload. So, like, if the Malta theoretically decides to spurk out on me, he can prepare himself to eat five death AAs before he ever kills me. Um, and he will lose a lot of planes. Um, I mean, as said, like, certain carriers, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, or if the player has a certain level of skill, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but like a Nakimov could still fuck on you, mostly. Then again, Wooster is probably one of the better ships to run AA skills on. Because of um, the 6.9 AA, which means if they have skip bombers and uh, rockets, um, they drop. And then when the planes recall after the drop, uh, I spawn flak uh, way easier. So um, I can shoot down entire squads if they just recall improper. So yeah, then... Obviously, I, I went down and went even more consumable reload, 7.5, and then consumable enhancement, more duration, and uh, fire chance. Uh, but I mean, I could probably drop this and this and get top grade after all. I just like to keep priority target, and I also like to keep, or I don't really mind having the fire chance um, helps as well. I mean, you could also drop fire chance and go even more AA. I mean, what does it even do? doesn't even doesn't even do that much actually it kind of grieves you over priority sector reinforcement plus 25 percent means if you press uh, o to the wrong side the other side gets even weaker so if the carrier flies into that but it's nice to have one more flag i would say and yeah like you can choose to go super ultimate aa you drop that and go for this okay, but that's the uh, that's the util booster um we're obviously hoping for another carrier game um, like a nice little Kaga would be pretty cool. Um, tier 8 carrier with lots of plane reserves. Uh, shit HP on them though. Ah, fuck. We didn't get a... We didn't get a carrier. Probably a wee bit too early for the carriers to be spammed. I should probably play it on the weekend more. That's when you get uh, weekend early. Like uh, afternoon or so on the weekend. You also don't get a lot of CVs. But... um. 
yeah, early weekend games, uh, you have a lot of C server players, so you get a lot of CV shit. And being an annoying piece of crap is quite funny. I mean, now I'm essentially just a 12% less DPM Wooster. That is less likely to be spotted or pushed by DDs or eat torpedoes because I have better consumables. Um, but I definitely like some DPM here, but I would play it like a normal booster. Um, I would not go here to the... I'm not going to go to the left side islands. These islands are super sus. Uh, that island is actually extremely dangerous if your DD doesn't properly play this or your team. And since I am already the one on the flank, it's very unlikely that these people go all the way here and fight for the spotting and... Stuff. It's also super easy if you play this rock to be lobbed by battleships over here. Um, you sh if you shoot, you're spotted by DDs over here. And DDs here can be safe, but still have torpedo angles on you. I mean, even from here in the cap, you can have torpedo angles. The, the issue is that my DDs maybe can't play like deep into the cap because they have raiders on these rocks too. And funnily enough, these rocks are also more advantageous kind of for raider cruisers. I mean, we only have a 10 km here, which means if the Des Moines plays this safely, he doesn't have raider range. Uh, 12 km from here is a bit devastating. Like a 12 km from here can zone your DD out of this area, down here. Uh, so the enemy DD can play this, uh, spot you the entire time and torp you. So like, there's lots of situations where that rock becomes a death trap. Um, if, I mean, if the enemy team just runs away and there's no DD over here, this rock is insane because you can just push to the next one and then farm the entire area. But that's just literally chancing it. But hey, I mean, seems to be a smart choice for me to go into the corner because we also have a Vincent pushing. So daring Vincent and I can just like be extremely obnoxious in that corner. Mm-hmm. Where well, we have Preussen coming in. DD in the cap. Fast DD. Okay. It's probably the division if I would have to take a guess here. Because normally diff spawn is towards that flank. I'm not gonna open up yet. Maybe maybe after the DCP of the Preussen. I mean theoretically the Monty is super far away and the Condor doesn't have I'll just open up here. I'll kite a bit further and then I'll turn back on the border, kind of. I want to get permafires on the Preussen before he's so deep in kite that I can't shoot him anymore, you know? Okay, I've got an insta perma. Strong, strong, strong. I like it. Two people aiming at me, obviously, instantaneously. Nothing you can do as a cruiser. Just want to cuck you. But. I'm gonna turn in now. He shot. He's not aiming at me. And this seems to be the two Zs. Yeah, there's two, two, uh, two, four launchers. Twice. So, oh, 16 torps. That's two Zs. Um, well, I will just go into the corner. It doesn't seem to be uh, played by another cruiser over here. So, it's just this Preussen who's already suffering. Uh, I need to get a raider on the Z so my daring and y my Yamagiri can actually play against that. I'm not actually keep farming this now. Because for some reason he's slowing down and going stationary. It's pretty fucking stupid in my opinion, but hey. My Vincent may be a bit over eager there, just killing himself. And I'm the one who is being targeted. That was a bit shit. I also don't know why he randomly gamer turned out. Uh-huh. I got arc? Yep. Nice. I just took the opportunity from me for from, from like undetected behind an island. Well, I immediately keep shooting because this Royson just DCP'd. Wooster does have a bit more base permafire, nice. Wooster does have a bit more base range than Des Moines obviously, so kind of slightly easier for me to play this corner because what normally happens is that um, Des Moines doesn't have range from it. The DDs seem to have left the cap actually because I pushed forward. I think they're knowers, like they know what's gonna happen here. So that's good, I can just kill this Des Moines from here too. The way this is the thing with the islands I said on the other side, if you don't play the corner you can't play the islands. This Des Moines chooses to play the islands, but just dies for it. 
because they don't have the corners, so my DDs can just perma spot them. Having a bit more DPM would have been nice, though. So maybe the the spec isn't like the the best solution. Because I mean, maybe maybe a bit of top grade is kind of cool. Maybe just not having ledge mod and just going for reload mod and playing the A skill is already enough. I mean, for now we're doing kind of okay-ish, you know. I'll just press Raider now, so my Daring has support. And gets to see the Z. The 50 second Raider, so... Theoretically my Daring should just uh, shoot. Smoke up and shoot. He's not doing so, because he doesn't give a fuck or something. Okay, ni nice little shit arcs actually working in my favor, because this island is only lobbable if you have really fucking trash arcs. But since the enemy DDs don't seem to play the corner at all, I have an actual real easy time here. Just playing into the corner and lobbing the spots on the island that I can easily lob perma. And I will most likely kill the Preussen here, he's coming deeper and deeper. He will also therefore be permanently spotted most likely. There you go, that's the fire. Thankfully the Conda turned away. Conda would be a baller, he would just push in Odin with the poison as well. So then I'd had to choose who I kill first. And the closer he gets, the less likely it becomes for me to lob. But I mean, yeah. The Conda is just like kiting perma. Uh, afterwards the Monty will probably come in. So hopefully the Conda keeps kiting for the rest of the game. As you can see, it's a nice little gap. Just permanently farm them. Yeah, definite lack of DPM noticeable here. I'm not like murdering through these people, even though I'm a Wooster. Oh, nice, he took a nice little hit from a BB. Beached himself. But that guy has to come in further for me to actually reliably hit him, but I mean, as is, as you can see, the... Okay, the, the other DD seems to be in B, that seems to be the division made of the Z52, so um, I hope this guy comes in to range. I kind of just entered, but I still have my Saint Louis and my Pommern, maybe. I mean, as long as the Daring doesn't randomly throw himself away, which should be a hard thing for him, because he knows I have 9 cam Raiders, so he can just abuse that fact that I have a 9 cam Raider. Okay, so, oh wait, yeah, there is a Z46 now, very close to me. We're popping the Raider on him instant, so the Daring doesn't have a disadvantage. And the Daring should be able to kill him here. It should not be an issue for him. Yep, there you go. Completely worthless Hydro DD, kind of. The Conda should die to me here too. Before he reaches me. Or deal significant damage. But the Daring actually died now. That's bad. Probably have to keep lighting this myself soon. I don't know why the Daring needed to trade himself for a worthless Z46. Like, the Z46 is worthless here, because I have a radar. Conda seems to be rather demented too, though, so thank god. I just kill him. I'm trying to keep this game somehow alive and feasible to win, but... Yeah. Probably not happening. We have a Chungus kiting and a Nova. Maybe, maybe he can do some nasty stuff. Need to wait for my radar to be up so I can do stuff against the other Z. Um, yeah, well, for now, DPM didn't really change that much. Maybe I would have saved some teammates if I killed people faster. Maybe. Um, okay, this guy DCP'd, but he's running out of range, so I won't get the red light. Pretty, uh, pretty nice spot in this corner. Sadly, my team decided to end madly. 
Maybe a cheesy ass fire with two shells or some shit. I don't know. Nope. No cheesy ass fire with five shells. Ah, six shells. Ah, would have been cool to have a cheesy ass fire. It doesn't, doesn't matter because it's a Monty. In theory, I could just. Wait, 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 wait. I'm definitely going to blow this guy up now. And then go dark. Yep. I don't think I'm gonna pop hydro, so I can get. Crazy how these two Z's lived for that long inside my radars and shit. How my team magically entered themselves into these people on purpose. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I'm dark instance and I can go cap. I have four heals left, so I'll just pop one. I mean, I'm probably gonna take mad crazy damage from this fucking Monty anyways now. Oop. Actually missed. Okay, nice. Hydro is on, Raider is still on, the Raider is going for 50 years. I Actually, I would, I mean, personally, I would disable the Raider now with the Hydro if I could, but I can't. Is there a way to disable it? No, if I press P, nothing happens, see? I can't disable them. Because if I have it off cooldown now, I can have it fast. Uh, if I go on cooldown now, I have it faster off, so I can fuck with the Minnow again. Again, doesn't really matter, the Minnow has now... Smoked over there, and if he lights me, he's hard lighting me, so it should be fine. When Ming seems to be over there, the Ron could... Okay, the Ron could die here. And then, like, the Kun Ming could be... Kun Ming and Minnow are something I can kill. Oh, fuck. Is that the Minnow or the Kun Ming? That is a question now. It's the Minnow, okay. Well, that's a bit of an iffy one for me to fight, not gonna lie. He missed the first volleys though. That Monty's just camping over there. I do get my heal 20% faster though, so as you could see I already have my next heal. I just need to live through that volley and hope the Kunming isn't in my heart detection so then I can take cap. And theoretically this Takeshi's castle, that one is really bad at aiming, theoretically that Takeshi's castle is dying there or should die there. Pomeran and Chungus should kill him. The issue is really just that Monty because Kunming I have Hydra and Raider against. I mean I have only one Raider left, that's a bit sad. I Raider twice in the corner for the... German DDs once now for the... No, wait. I raided three times for the German DDs. True. True, true, true. First raider was worthless because the Daring didn't smoke up and shoot. This is a winnable angle for sure. It really just depends on the Kunming. And uh, as you can see, the healers off cooldown pretty fast. It's definitely a nice little buff. So, like, you trade utility and survivability for DPM. What I said in the beginning. See what we can do here. I can't really go close to that. I like I can't keep go so close to the islands, but I have to somehow get into. Ooh, that Kunming is. Wait. He crossed here. I'm gonna pop Hydro now, now the Torps are passed. I would have never thought he was all Torps on me, that's crazy. So like, I have to wait until these two get towards middle, we have 6 minutes. If I die, the game is over anyways, because we lose C2 Kunming potentially, and uh, I trade points, so I need to wait for them. I cannot go out on my own. Also, I don't really have the DPM to fuck with a full HP uh, Montagna. I'm gonna pop hydro. The sad part is though that I can't really use uh, can't really use my radar randomly for info. That's a problem. I can just wait here, and I will wait here. And I have the f like so the torps came from here, so the Kunming is trying to go like this is some shit. The radar Kunming, okay, it doesn't matter though. <gasps> oh oh, 
Oh, that's lucky timing as fuck. Holy shit. I can kill the Kunmingo behind island against the Monty. Holy fuck, that guy is just randomly coming out of there. Holy fuck, what is this? Well, if I had holes, I know, huh? Well, he will go dark now. Oh, there it is. Didn't get a fire, sadly. Now I have to just kite him around the corners. I don't know, man. 29k in a heal. It's not enough really to fuck with this. Hmm. My Hydro goes down as well. Like, I think the best course of action is really just to wait for that bomber. Interestingly long game. The prob... Problem is, even if we cap middle, we don't win. The Monty will block C, so the the play is now to kill that Monty somehow. I have nothing to spot him with for one minute. He could sit there in reverse, so I'm just gonna chill now. I mean, my Pomeran didn't turn in. I don't know what the fuck my Pomeran is doing. Okay, so he's in C now. We have a problem, because if he gets C, we really have to kill him. Ungus is going up top, that's good, so you can torp him and spot him. I can also just go forward now because I know the... Yeah, you don't have to use Hydro, my friend. I don't think that's worth it. As expected, he's behind the island. Okay, he's turning what? Now that I have light from the Chungus, I can actually get an angle to farm him. Definitely. He will turn away from the smoke. Or like the Chungus who's shooting because of the torps, so I can just sit here and fark. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Should be fine soon to lob. There you go. I can lob him. I hope I have enough DPM to burn him down fast. I wanna get a fire here. Hey yo! Nice spot. To be fair, you can just sit here really for free and just farm him out. Oh, he's a non-fire prevention one. Well, I mean, then it's not a problem to kill him in 140. No, not really. You go double fire, he's gonna DCP. I'm gonna get a double fire again and my Pomeran will just run at him with secondaries, most likely. Get a lot of damage here in this game. I mean, for a Wooster, it's not like a record-breaking game, but... I mean... Utility Wooster, shitting 50 consumables, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, high cal is only 220, okay. Or is, or is, is 20, that was I meant, like, it's pretty high. I think the secondaries just set a second fire. The only issue I have with this is... Homer dying and giving him points, and us not killing him. Oh, no, he's triple fired now, so we, we're super fine. Very, very good game. Like, very interesting one. Very, very long and drawn out one. Oh, that was, that was really, like, something. Had some, some brains in my team. Uh, decent amount of brains, I guess, in the enemy team, but not enough. Actually got away with seven kills. 3k base. I mean, no plane kills. I mean, the, the those kills uh, function as a multiplier for the DD damage and the cap I already have on the base, so... 
That's why you get to 3k, even though it's a lot of battleship damage too, as you can see here. Kills, I can... Pretty good, pretty good. We go for one last, because this was a 20 minute game nearly. We go for three games, and as it seems, uh, it's still, still viable. This is like... It's not necessarily needed to have the highest DPM, it's just the, the most one-dimensional approach to carrying World of Warships these days. Um, people make so many mistakes and people play so improper that if you have uh, more DPM, you're generally faster at punishing them, better at punishing them, which means you will win games quicker with a very one-dimensional approach. If you go for a uh, more utility-based, um, consumer-based, which is utility, essentially, uh, or survivability-based approaches. You may rely slightly more on your team, um, but you also learn how the game was theoretically supposed to be played or intended to be played. Uh, the game was not intended to run Lighthouse. The game was not intended to run heavy AP Furious BBs um and try to cheese the highest amount of damage output out of a bb but rather try to tank as much with it while having decent uh, alpha strike and cutting angles and providing crossfire um instead of just loading up with a uh, heavy ap uh, furious monty that still doesn't die because the captain specs are so broken now and you just park in front of someone and either he or ap spam him uh, or AP, like HE spam him for fires and HE damage or AP spam him into superstructure and still fuck him faster. The game was designed around having these kind of things. But I mean, who the fuck even knows what a ledge mod on a booster does? Um, and who the fuck even plays it? Because it's a utility oriented mod. So, yeah. But hey, we have a carrier. Uh, now that I have my, had my weird uh, one minute session of being a moral compass for the randoms player base. Uh, we have a Marta. That's great. I won't dive island now because my sub is going somewhere into Narnia. Come on, go to the right. Mm, idiot. Uh, where is he? Uh, no, I'm fucked. He's... Smoke may have baited me into a certain death. May have. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the smoke is okay-ish. Smoke was actually okay-ish, yeah. Like I could deal with that, um, because no one went wide. Oh, the submarine is a Giga Pupuga. If he DCP'd, he's gonna oil slick now. Yeah, 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 he DCP'd my gun, so he's oil slicking now, I think. I think he's moving over here. What it seems like, at least. So I'm glad the moin the the problem for me here was while I I thought the smoke may be a giga bait and kill me is yeah nice okay. just sometimes you can just predict what they're doing because they're like like the the U4501 players are slightly predictable because they have ass launchers so they want to get them out you know but um, yeah uh, the radar cruisers were my issue here with playing wait what the fuck are you doing. You're pushing me, you're baiting shells maybe into me. Could you just like not be in the smoke, flat broadside to torpedoes? I mean, why are you even low, friend? What the fuck? Maybe the gearing is now intrigued by what I'm doing for the team in terms of getting caps and shit. So you will play objective with laying smokes more often, you know? You never know, you know? Maybe he's uh, motivated now to do that. Uh, the shim is trying to get a torpedo angle, so please fuck off Odin now, so I can leave too. I don't want to stay in that smoke, uh, at least not at the angle that I'm currently at. The torpedoes will come and I will suffer. Maybe I get a chroma fire here. 
It doesn't matter really. This guy's out of game. Oh, there it is. Rim of fire. Well, yeah, the, like the U451 was an idiot. He ate both first drops and then he predictably turned to the border to get his ass launchers out. Pretty lucky there, not gonna lie. It's usually not what happens. Like, um... I need to wait for my Hydro now to come off cooldown. I'll just turn on the rock. Um... Use the rock a bit. Hearing would have been a gentleman, he would have now come to the rock and smoked me out to the border and the entire enemy team that dies on this flank. Or like, I mean, I don't have the DPM, but they would suffer mad. This idiot is now proceeding to widespread 20k armors, because the gearing is spotting all those torps. You can see how far away you can spot them if there's 20 KMs. There's no reason to run them. Okay, so the Minnesota's fucking off, which is the biggest threat kind of for me. I could probably deal with an Amagi. Let's see if I get lit. Maybe I can cross over to the... Oh, I don't... Maybe I can cross over to the gearing and he actually lays me another smoke. I mean, that would be crazy. Wouldn't it? Nah. Okay, fuck. Uh, I thought maybe the Shimmer pushes back in. Oh, wait, he did actually. I mean, it's a 79 Shimmer. And it's just gonna dodge my radar range. Oh, yeah. Well, time for open water booster, you know. Wish I had rudder mod now, kick. But I mean, I could also just go dark now to here. But I do have the faster heals now. So. Oh, yeah, ADC feed. I'll keep shooting this. Yeah, angle in. Maybe my gearing hits a nice torp. Is the gearing coming to smoke me? Wow. Fuck me, man. That guy. He was so motivated by the first smoke, just instantaneously winning the flank because I could go forward. Oh, bro. You're getting a compliment, my man. I hope I don't forget. The random gearing that smokes you in a wooster. Utility wooster of all things, so. My lack of DPM is not a problem. Man, I wish the carrier would spurg out on me. That'd be cool. But sadly, sadly, I have teammates that are running it, so he's obviously focusing on them. The, the Shimmer is motivated uh, and uh, intrigued by that smoke gameplay as well. So he decides to smoke the, the Amagi. I mean, that's a bit of a less valuable target to smoke. I mean, he can keep him alive, but the Amagi won't randomly EPM people from smoke. I mean, it is tier 8 BBs, but you have to remember that I get overmatched by 380s and everything above, so even these BBs completely overmatch me. Like in a Des Moines, I would feast now from the island and just perma tank them. Very unlikely they smash me through nose at mid range or long range. But on Wooster, I actually have to be slightly careful. So obviously, the smoke is a great, great, great fucking uh, assistance from the, the gearing. Gearing doesn't eat the 20. The gearing is even spotting torpedoes when my hydro is off in front of me. What a gentleman. What a real gentleman. Really gotta remember to compliment him. Triple fire on the North Carolina. He's definitely cooking. Uh, the smoke will fade soonish. Already DPMing since 50 years from it. But yeah, um, I think the NC will die fast enough. And yeah, I mean, now definitely with the midway um, fucking him. That was definitely needed to drop the triple perma fired NC. That is already nearly dead. Hey, there he is. He actually sat in that smoke, the Amage, for some reason. He didn't even run away. Interesting. Arsonist at him, yeah. No fire prevention insta DCP NC. I mean, I don't really feel for him, even though he's a tier 8 in a tier 10 game. Don't really feel for that. That guy also always insta DCPs, but at least this guy seems to be playing fire prevention. Kind of better. Maybe, just maybe, I can actually get to the CV, or like get the attention of the CV. And then fucking annoy him to death. That would be great. <sighs> I can get some nice. 
Do CAA damage. I have a CV gear and I don't even have a fucking CV. Uh, a single plane kill, man. What the fuck is going on? Ducks cock. Uh, at least the second and third game were pretty fucking good. First game was a bit AFK, you know. Um, yeah, this one here, pretty nice. I mean, it's essentially I killed a kill the sub, zone the shema anyways by just existing, and then I have the uh, the nice. Is that midway killing the shema? And then I have the nice tier 8 BBs for myself. By the way, this is also the thing where it's like if you play objective and you kill the right targets instant, the damage comes naturally after. It's always what I meant. Um, but sadly, the carrier is in fact not dropping someone else, but he's rather... Eh, not dropping me, but rather someone else. So we won't get to wipe entire plane squadrons for the funny moments. But we get to shoot a Custy a bit, you know. Gonna take, take it or leave it moment. Yeah, that Malta died. I sadly wasn't part of it, neither did I milk him for planes. Sag. But then again, you never know if that guy really also just like has no interest in going for this flank because he knows a Wooster has AA. I mean, generally people are like bad carriers. And uh, remember from time to time what kind of ships they should not attack. So yeah. Booster definitely one of those things that always has defe. And therefore also always uh, poses a threat to slow planes like Malta. The thing is like Malta generally doesn't lo lose any squads. If it's uh, just normal AA and DPS. Malta has so much HP in those squads, 25 to 30k depending on the squads. And some of these monkeys built for HP instead of speed. Like you always build for plane speed on carriers. Um, that, yeah. Like unless you have had have def AA infused flak clouds, you're never going to shoot down a Malta squad. Kind of like uh, if you have like an Austin without def AA or... I mean, he has a Defe on cooldown, I mean, or you have a cold bird, you can just, uh, or a Smolly with Hydro. Most of them play Hydro because it's a smoke cruiser. So, like, <laughs> you can just free fuck them in Malta because the planes have so much HP that even the high DPS of the light cruisers can't shoot down the bomb squad. Uh, like, it can shoot down one third of it, but that still means you get two drops. So, that's why Malta is extremely cancer, but not for me. In the Wooster, you know, uh, I can actually deal pretty well with it. So we had a bit of a demented shimmer on the flank, let's say. Uh, if the suicidal U451 already ends up being fifth class from the bottom. But hey, uh, once again, pretty good game in a utility booster. Definitely, I like that spec. Um, just because, as I said, like I'm pretty much out of ideas what ships to play in, in, in randoms on stream and stuff. So I play like weird ships from time to time now. Also like these kind of interesting specs. Um, I quite like it. Um, I feel... Somehow, a wee bit cheesier towards the CV, which makes me kind of happy. Um, and yeah, sometimes you have the 50-60 plane kill game when the CV spurs out on you without realizing you're actually a spec, And you have mad reload on Defe. But yeah, um, that's it for the funny ledge booster with uh, utility spec. I mean, meaning this is pretty much all you can get in terms of utility cooldown uh, or duration. Um, this would only increase your amount. But as you could see... Two out of three games, I have tons of utility left. Um, only in one game, I could have used more. Um, only a radar. I could have used one more radar. Theoretically, I had a heal left and also hydros. Like, not really needed. But yeah, that's it for Wooster. Maybe try it yourself. I mean, I wouldn't really, like, I wouldn't spend 20k uh, research bureau points on ledge booster. Uh, when there's Van Ledge Mod now, Guden Ledge Mod, Petro Ledge Mod, Elbing Ledge Mod, Des Moines Moskva Ledge Mod, Haru Ledge Mod for Comp, Gearing Ledge Mod for Comp. Um, what else? There are other Ledge Mods. I think that's about it. Yamato Ledge Mod, Shema Ledge Mod, they're kind of mandatory. It's like It comes pretty far down the list, it's kind of a cheesy one. And uh, also like there's Research Bureau ships, so I'm... I don't expect you to take it, but if you leave ledge mod out, you get more DPM, you still play this spec, you're still shitting utility, um, you just have 20% less cooldown and you have to take this, you probably drop this, this, take this, something like that, I don't know, um, but yeah, 
that's uh, that's it. See you in the next video and I hope you liked it. Adios.